Hello everyone, this is CS the Viking Gamer. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another cyberpunk let's play Viking style. Now, uh, unfortunately, there was a issue with my uh, computer after the last time I recorded this episode. So we're unfortunately going to be a little bit further along. Uh, we've already met with Meredith Stout and gotten the information from her. Uh, we did a little bit of questing and things like that. Unfortunately, none of that got saved, uh, so we're going to be starting a little bit further ahead. Uh, so this time around, um, we are going to jump straight in and fight the Maelstrom gang for the Flathead robots. Alright, and uh, also if I sound a little bit different, I'm trying a different uh, recording program this time around, so hopefully it works out a little bit better. And uh, makes it easier to save the file as well so uh, let's see uh, just a quick thing we got it but we can't use it yet we picked up the iconic weapon uh, Fenrir uh, but we can't use it yet we need to be level 7 and we're currently level 4 so for the moment can't use it can't wait until we can but so that we don't accidentally destroy it we are going to put it away so we don't lose it. All right. So, where is it? We're going to go meet with Jackie. Uh, let's see, I think I've got a fast travel point nearby there. I do. So we're going to fast travel there, and then we'll meet up with Jackie and get started. Oh, I really hope I have enough ammo. Okay, oh, and... Tech data shard. Okay. I've already. Uh, I was able to hack the data shard so that it doesn't have the virus, and we were able to retrieve the virus off of it. But unfortunately, uh, as I am playing the. Car Let me adjust the in game audio just a little bit here. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, I, I did give an explanation in the last Let's Play, which the save file did not save. Uh, so we're not going to do any cyber uh, attacks against people. Uh, so what I mean by that is, in Old Norse culture, it was perfectly acceptable to use runes and magic uh, to enhance yourself or to uh, make yourself stronger. But it was not acceptable to use magic to hurt someone from a distance. That was considered sorcery. So, as I'm playing like a viking, uh, that means that for the entirety of the playthrough for this character, we will avoid using any kind of cyber attack that is combat related. So anything that is uh, covert or passive we can use. But we cannot do anything that would harm someone using a cyber attack. So, so while we did get a demon program from the Miltech shard, we're not going to use it. I don't have enough to do that option. Oh well. Uh, you know, let's just jump right into it. Well, 
second meet, we found some common ground. They're putting the bill for the bot. A lot of scratches. Get it, Jack. You like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, is the Lord Beast dead? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. get it and what pisses them the fuck off but maelstrom you just never know go on let them know we're here <clears throat> don't know you want to talk to royce dex sent us Stuff. Oh, we may as well loot the place while we can, right? Oh man. He was gonna give me that? He's already put it in his mouth. Ugh, really.
forsaken. Well, that escalated quickly. Fuck break that. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. Alright. You want the flathead? Mm. I better see some eddies. Seems you already got the eddies for it. You want to offer us a discount. Big one. Discount? Uh, you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lard ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Maybe it, eh? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Ooh. Oh, screw this guy. Maelstrom spiked short sleeve jacket, a whole crap load of money, and chaos pistol. All right, so. So killing him like that means that we don't have a boss fight later, but I think that's worth it because we get the pistol right away. Interesting. All right. Let's grab that, and that. Stuff, especially the eddies, we're gonna need it. Alright. Uh, before we go any further, let's have a look at our spoils of war, shall we? Alright. So the chaos is automatically just way stronger. Just immediately. Uh, there's a bleed chance, has a charge time. The headshot multiplier is less, but. You know what? Let's try it out and see how it works. Alright. Got some decent stuff. Ooh. And... We could do a scope. You know what? Let's hold off on the scope for a minute. Oh, what is this? <laughs> it looks so dumb. It's less armor. It looks badass, though. Less armor, but we have two mod slots. Alright. For now, we're going to wear the other one. And we're not even going to bother with that. Let's just scrap that out. That's better. Alright. 
cube. Oh, and we leveled. Uh, do we have... We do not. Okay. You know what? Let's up our reflexes to 10 before we do anything else. Because... Yeah. Consecutive counterattacks uh, restore health and stamina. There's the other one, increased crit chance. Yeah, so there's a couple things in here that'd be really nice. Especially since we're planning on going a blade focus character. So, let's go there. And, oh, I remember it was in here. Health regenerates slowly during combat. Let's just pick that up. when we can find them. Oh crap, heal, heal, heal! Woo! Fire bad, fire bad. Oh, screw this. I think I see why uh, this gun does more damage. It fires two shots at once. <sighs> you know what? Um, I'm not sure I like that, actually. Okay. All right, all right. find everything we can. What's this? Deactivate all the cameras.
disarm. Well, cool. Oh, it's always nice to have a psychopath owe you a favor. Fortunately, we've disabled all the cameras. Ooh, thousand bucks. Nice, nice. Blade thermal damage. Oh boy. Alright. 
Okay. Okay, that's all the cameras. I need to get some stuff that reduces recoil. Thought there'd be something over here. Guess not. Is this a way out? locked. Okay. Well, we died. Um, I think I think something exploded next to us. Uh, all right, let's load the last checkpoint and see how far back we have to be. Oh, I hope we're not back in the first room. Uh, Oh, okay, we're right here. All right, let's turn that off. Sneak up on this guy. Come on! Let's see that pretty thing. I think we definitely accidentally blew ourselves up.
Ah, uh, jeez, carrying too much. All right. <sighs> Crowbar is better, but I'm not giving up my sword just yet. No, this crap. Can't use that, so we're just going to scrap it. takes a load off. Okay. Come on. Let's see that pretty face. Did you just tell me how to shoot people? Jeez. Anyone else down here? Doesn't look like it. Screw this. Woo! Glad I decided to hide behind something else.
Okay. Now, the reason I'm using all the grenades is for two reasons. One, grenades solve problems in this game. And two, grenades are very easy to get. Like, it, do, it does not take much to get the specs to craft a grenade, and as soon as you have that, you've, you've got infinite grenades. Because crafting material is incredibly plentiful in this game. Alright, so before we head out, we're going to loot everything here. And make sure all these guys are dead. So the reason that I keep uh, doing an execution shot on most of these guys is actually because uh, whenever you scan someone, it'll tell you if they have a bounty on them or not. Now, just because you've taken them down doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the bounty on them. And that bounty could be a lot of different things. It could be money or it could be street cred. Now, uh, like I said, just because you've uh, beaten them doesn't mean that they're taken down and uh, you get the reward. So, by making sure that they're dead, you get the reward. And um, I'm actually pretty sure that they're all dead. Yeah, he, he did. There we go. All right, I'll, I'll have to show you in a at a point outside. There we go. All right, I think that's the last of the stuff. And now let's head out. say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. The old devil will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Mm. Oh, thought about what you said. About convoys, transport security, your offer. We're just not interested. Secure the area. Yeah, she's a jerk. Time we were on our way. We'll have to read these later. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the military gang? Sure, of course it was trouble. Boys couldn't have given two shits and you and Rick and Shake him. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal one? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the box. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls. What about the people that were the partner? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> that meat's the only thing. 
thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Mark will be waiting for you at this bar. Good luck. Okay. Oh, and we leveled up again. All right. Um, yeah. Let's do the reflexes thing one last time. All right. Um, you know what? We're going to be using SMGs quite a lot. Is there anything in here that will reduce recoil? Increase damage while aiming. That actually might be pretty useful. Uh, melee attacks? No. More damage to enemies that are above 50% health. That's pretty nice. Increased crit chance, and just blanket increased damage. Hmm. Ah, there it is, at 12, while firing from behind cover. Okay, that's something. Uh, and then there, so if we get reflexes up to 16, we can reduce recoil by 10% here, and I'm guessing 40%? Okay, so that's not bad. Oh, this one just reduces it all together. Okay, so we can increase damage if they're further away. All right. Um, successful counterattacks restore health and stamina. Reduce stamina attack. See that? That's kind of nice. Dodging recovers stamina, hmm, and increase bleed duration. All right, so we've got three perk points. Now, one thing we are going to do is I kind of want to up this again, but I kind of don't. Increase movement speed while stealth. That's, that's all hacking, and I don't care about that. Uh... Alright, so this is all about shotguns. Definitely got to get this. Immune to your own grenade effects. An explosion radius is visible. Let's get that as well. do the while aiming because that's going to help us the most. Alright. Uh, let's call our car. And where are we going next? Alright, let's head over here to this assault in progress and I'll show you what I mean about the about uh, the whole 
uh, reward system for fighting. like it's right up ahead here. Oh, I know where it is. I don't know if we can get there from this side. At least not with the car. Oh. Yes, we can. Awesome. Alright. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, down here, looks like there's some troubles. Okay, so this guy's got a bounty of 60 street cred, and he's a class 3 bounty. So if I beat him, but he's still alive, I actually won't get that reward. Because he's still alive. For whatever reason, you don't get it unless they're actually dead. So... Okay, so uh, we've defeated all of them. Now it's not always easy to tell if they're beaten. Like this guy's dead. My uh, target crosshair is red. So let's have a look around. Victim, victim. Victim, victim. Like this guy. So this guy's still alive. So he's beaten. He's not going to get back up. But take him down, and now I've got the street cred reward. And more experience. So like I said, for whatever reason, uh, they're, not def they're not defeated unless you kill them. Huh, our first smart weapon. <sighs> okay. So. That is that. So I think... Uh, you know what? Let's call it a day here. Uh, we went through a grand epic uh, battle. And I think we're going to call it quits here. You know what? There's, yes, there's a fast travel point right here. Let's head back to our apartment. No. Sorry about that. I would have felt really bad if I had run him over. Uh, so let's head back to our apartment so that we can stow away the uh, iconic weapon that we picked up. While Chaos is nice, it's got way too much recoil to actually be super useful. So uh, we're going to stick with our original pistol for now. 
uh, but we're going to be constantly on the lookout for another one that might be as good or better. So this, this door has just been open this whole time. Come on. Come on. Where is it? There we go. All right. Put chaos away. I'm still trying to figure out which guns go on the wall once you've gotten them. Yeah, I guess we'll figure that out later. All right, everyone. So I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, sit down, take a load off after a big gunfight and getting shot and stabbed and exploded and all the bad stuff, really. Uh, so... Uh, I think we had some fun today. Uh, next time... Next time I think we'll go on the next leg of the main story mission. Uh, we might track down some side missions that are, have uh, good content in them. Uh, maybe we'll even go legendary hunting or something like that. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for future content. And we will see you next Sunday for another edition of Cyberpunk 2077 Viking Style. This is CS the Viking Gamer signing off.